So I've had this uh, charging up for a few moments and uh, <clears throat> we'll see just oh a little bit of smoke popping out there. Now there's a little bit of an exothermic reaction going on there where when the chemical is mixing in with the air it's actually producing a little bit of pressure and uh, you can see there's a little bit of smoke coming out there. Now when we use it normally I don't know if we have a black background here, but this would probably this would probably work. You, you can see the smoke against the black background there, and we only need to use this in very very small puffs. You know, I say fingernail size puffs maximum. Uh, the smoke has not as yet gone up to full strength. It's not as thick as it will be, or as it will get as this is uh, being used. The life expectancy of the smoke puffer is about a thousand puffs of smoke about a thousand puffs of smoke, let's say, you know, the size of a small apple type of thing. Uh, it will generally last in daily use for about three months and the thing that stops it from working is moisture. So that's why we want to maintain this desiccant material inside the tube and keep it inside the tube away from moisture. We also want to keep it away from heat. It says on the side of the container here not to store it uh, above 90 degrees Fahrenheit which is about, uh, what, 40 degrees uh, Celsius. Now, very commonly, uh, contractors, when they're working with these smoke puffers, will take their smoke puffer, they'll put it back in the storage tube, and they'll take it, and they'll stick it right in the dash of their uh, truck, and then be surprised when they find all kinds of smoke in their truck. So, I caution you against that. Do not put this on the dash of your car. Do not store it over 90 degrees, and you'll be just fine. After about a month, or probably two or three hundred puffs, it'll seem as if the smoke puffer is running out of smoke. And I would say that most smoke puffers are thrown away when only 25% of their useful smoke is used up. And what is going on there is there's a Teflon tube right here that goes through a rubber block, and at the point where it passes through uh, some of the uh, material that's mixed in the fiberglass and some of the you know chemicals that uh, uh, they are formed you know, as the titanium tetrachloride mixes with air and so on, uh, form kind of a hard kind of chalky material around this uh, inlet at this point. And the only way to get rid of that is to take a stick such as this one, and we supply two of them, and ram it all the way down to about this point here in order to clear this hose and this little tube out completely. So you'll take a smoke puffer that looks like it's almost empty and ram it a few times and you'll find it's working just like it's brand new again.